Karen is ready to have a conversation with both Zach and Aaron. Andy might have some unexpected help with getting Sabrina out of jail. And Danny still got to make peace with what Preston propositioned her with. What's good, y'all? It's your good sister, Erica Vane, coming to you right here on Erica Vane TV with another sister's video. In this video, I am breaking down the synopsis for episode number five from season five of Tyler Perry's Sisters. The episode is titled, It's All About Who You Know. And spoiler alert, in this episode, we will see the entrance of Madam, who is crossing over from all the Queen's men into the sisters universe by way of being who? Fatima's cousin. In this video, I'm gonna read you the synopsis and let you know what I think about it, but you feel free to let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts, theories, and predictions? I want to know, I need to know. So make sure you comment them in the comment section down below. And if you would love to read the synopsis for yourself, you can do so by going over to ericavane.com where I have it written out for you all to check out. Link in the description box down below. But without further ado, it's all about who you know. Karen confronts Zach and Aaron with her true feelings once and for all with Lisa's help. Fatima introduces Andy to her cousin in the hope that she can be instrumental with helping Sabrina. I want to start with the whole Fatima and introducing her cousin part because in the trailer, y'all, we got to see that that cousin is actually Madam and it makes so much sense now. Fatima being completely unhinged at times, off her damn rocker, carrying the blicky and with the shits make complete and utter sense. There's not a moment in time that Madam is not with the sh So it makes so much sense that Fatima is so quick to result to violence, so quick to pop off at the mouth and so quick to get with you and let you know when you got her fucked up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I ain't even mad at it. It, it. it feels like an arbitrary, you know, crossover of storylines. We never really got the full explanation of, like, Amp versus Jacoby, who the actor who plays Amp also plays Jacoby. There's a reference made at one point in one of the episodes about how he lied about his name, but then it was never revisited again. And now we're also seeing another character um, from all the Queen's men, in addition to Amp, slash Jacoby and El Fuego, because El Fuego was definitely popping up all throughout season four, and I absolutely love that. Now we're getting another character from the All the Queen's Men universe crossing over into the Sisters universe by way of Madam, and I am really kind of here for it. I think that Madam is going to add a certain level of gangster, a certain level of um, boss bitchness that Fatima has kind of been carrying on her own. If I'm going to be honest, like Karen is a boss bitch in, in many ways. However, she's not as ruthless and as gutter as what I believe Madam to be. So I feel like Fatima was really carrying a bulk of that. So with the interest of Madam and Fatima not necessarily having to be the person to be so gritty, I'm really excited to see what that's going to look like. And at first, I thought when we saw in the trailer that Madam was coming in to deal with Gary, who was going to be continuing to menace this season. However, her storyline is going to be introduced to help with Sabrina. And now I'm like, okay, well, that's not even going to require for her to get too gritty because this is just basically going up against the judicial system and trying to get Sabrina out of jail. Um, I don't know. I feel like the the opportunities are endless in, in reference to is madam going to kidnap logan and, and and question him interrogate him is madam going to have to get with q ass and make him admit that he lied about everything like what is actually going to happen like she can definitely make some calls to some of her political friends right remember she she ripped the damn judge's door off of the hinges and let her know what it is what it ain't after kidnapping their damn daughter so she has political connections she could probably make a phone call and get sabrina released pretty much immediately but also like Something got to happen to Q's old, old fine ass. Like, something got to be dealt with. When you call in madam, it's not because you simply need a phone call to a judge or a mayor to get somebody out of jail. It's because you need somebody to be beat and or unalived. That's just it. Like, I don't make the rules, y'all. That's what it is. So, while we're going to get this nice little introduction to madam um, to potentially help Andy with the whole Sabrina thing, I definitely think that this is the very, very beginning, the tip of the iceberg, and it will evolve into something much greater. Because again, you do not deploy such a volatile, amazing, huge character like madam for a little bitty ass problem. Now, Karen is also going to confront Zach and Aaron with her true feelings once and for all with Lisa's help. And I like this. I like getting both Zach and Aaron in the room 
and Karen communicated exactly how she feels to both of them. So there's no playing telephone. There's no misconceptions. Like, um, Aaron was asking Andy in episode one of season five if she was still, if Karen was still in love with Zach and a Andy didn't want to, you know, speak on it. But this is how he can actually hear. Yes, she is still in love with him. She's also told you that. So you know that. But okay, sir. Um, but she does have feelings for you as well. She does want to move forward with you as well. I think this will be a perfect time. And I'm praying, I am praying y'all that Tyler Perry has handled this scene in these moments as the, like literally as the best treasure that he has ever damn had, because this is an opportunity for Karen to have dialogue that will move and heal and inspire so many other women. Like, this opportunity to sit and have a mature conversation with two potential loves of your lives who could potentially be the father of your child or children um, after going through all that y'all have gone through, but then speaking from a place without ego, without um, insecurity, but just raw emotion to me could be so powerful. And I would love to have Karen say, I'm in love with Zach. I know that we don't work. I know that we have not been our best selves with the, with each other. And I'm jealous of seeing him walk into a better version of himself when I have been waiting for that version for the last three years. I feel like I have deserved that version. And I really do feel like it's not fair. And then I know that it's not fair for you, Aaron, for me to be looking onto the other like other grass as if it's greener when you are everything that I wanted Zach to be completely right out the box. I have not had to argue with you or yell at you or demean you or ignore you or do anything for you to be the man that I have wanted Zach to be and you continuously show up as that man. I don't know why my heart won't let me fully release Zach However, I am trying. This baby, the pregnancy, it scares me. I am worried. I at sometimes am worried, Aaron, if you are too good to be true, because I've said this before, but like Zach started out like you. You've been able to keep it up much longer, but maybe it's just a little bit of a delay. And I know that, that might not be the case. However, that's what my brain is telling me. And I am very confused. I love you both. I will love Zach forever, but I wish him the best in his new relationship. I am trying to move forward and I am trying to register and heal and understand like our season is done, but I cannot help to think that the best bet would be for him to be the father of my child. And I want for him to be the father of my child because I actually know him. Would you get tired of me, Aaron? Would you completely just leave me? Like, is this an act? Like, I just would like her to say everything that's on her mind and then they just have to deal with it. And like, we can go from there because so much of the drama and the tension and all of the crap that has been coming up has also been because of the bullshit ass game of telephone and they're playing when they're also not fully revealing how they feel to each other in the moment that they need to say the most. And it's just like, uh, just say everything, get everything out on the table so that we can deal with it. And then also people, I think, will be able to better empathize with her. I think Zach will be able to better empathize with her because he was literally in the same place as her in season two. He was running around here on that damn bike trying to get her back, like, with his last breath. So I'm really looking forward to episode five with all of them getting in the room with Mama Lisa sitting there ready to help and to, you know, mitigate and, and provide additional perspective. I'm excited for Mama Lisa to get to know Aaron so that we can figure out if he is really the real deal like we think he is and if he is going to be the thing moving forward. Um, I personally, if she doesn't end up back with Zach, which the team is about to be on a whole ride, like I do believe that they're going to pursue marriage and we're going to get to see that. So I don't necessarily think that Tyler Perry is going to be doubling back anytime soon when it comes to Zach and Karen. I personally would like to see her with Aaron because I do feel like, um, they do have a vibe and there is love there for each other, even though he has also put her through some traumatic stuff. Um... I would like it to be one of one or the other. I don't actually want a new guy to come in. I think that that's going to be a, a, a little bit too much work given the fact that she's also pregnant right now. 
and I just can't wait. I would love to know what y'all think in the comment section down below about the synopsis, about my predictions, about, and, and then also just tell me what your predictions are. This episode seems like it's going to be a crucial one, but then also remember y'all at some point this season, Aaron and Zach are going to fight in a juice shop. So <laughs> while we might get a bunch of things laid on the table in episode five, some bad blood or some ill feelings are still going to be left for them to deal with later on down the line. And it's going to be a tumultuous season five. It's your good sis. You let it talk TV with. Again, drop a comment and I will see you in the next one. Bye.